Hello guys, welcome to the series of Drawing a Girl's Portrait Part 5. In this series, I will teach you how I have drawn this girl's hair. So without wasting time, let's get started. As you can see, I have already drawn the outline of the hair to make it clear to you the exact position. Here to draw a rough sketch or the outline of the hair, I have taken HB's mechanical pencil of 0.5 mm. Then for giving the dark shade, I am using the charcoal pencil. Trust me guys, drawing hair is very easy, especially if you are drawing that on a small portion or you are working on a small sketch. I know it requires a lot of detail when you are working on uh, sizes like A2 or A1, but if you are working on portraits which comparatively have a smaller portion, then it is really very easy. So here you can see I am doing the detail work with the HB pencil of 0.5 mm and uh, the major works or the dark tones which I am giving to my hair are with the help of the charcoal pencil. So here at this point I have completed making the hair of the girl with the help of only two pencils that are the charcoal pencil and the HP pencil of 0.5 mm. Now quickly I will give it a blend with the help of a makeup brush. Here I am not using a regular makeup brush which I have used earlier but a different one. So I will share the link to buy this makeup brush in the description box. After making the base shade I will give structure to the hair face and will make the partition of the hair with the help of monotom zero eraser. So here making the partition of the hair is very easy. You just have to keep the tip of the monotom zero eraser on the line of the partition and throw the already made shade in the opposite direction. As you can see in the video, here I will also use the 4B pencil of Apsara to make the hair. Here to make the front hair, I am shading the whole face and then will highlight the front hair. If you are able to see the reference clearly, you will notice that the hairs are not just shaded but every tiny hair is visible clearly so to make these details i will use the mechanical pencil and will make the hair as shown in the video whenever we draw hair on any size a2 a5 or any size always use mechanical pencil it makes us easy to draw the hair we don't have to sharp it again and again and it gives a neat and clean work With the help of the same mechanical pencil, I will make the flicks and the wavy hair. Making wavy hair is very easy. You just have to put pressure initially and then throw at the end. This will give a natural wave to the hair.
hair following the reference i will throw the bunch of hair in the opposite direction side also i will make the ruffled hair Help of this yellow eraser, I will give a final highlight to the hair to make it more natural. The making hair is an easy process, but it requires a lot of patience and detailed work, which you might have to perform many times. Approximately, here I have given five to six layers of shades. This video was going way too long. So many detail work which I have performed are not shown here. The key tools to make the hair or any kind of hair is the mechanical pencil and the tomboy zero eraser or the zero eraser of any brand you can use. But these two tools make your work way too easy. Here I am using 8B pencil of Apsara to make the shadow of the hair on the shoulder. a lot of detail work and done with the hair you can match the reference and ask any kind of doubt if you have and answer them in the comment section so guys that was all for this video thank you so very much for watching this video so patiently we'll meet you soon in the next series till then stay safe and stay at home thank you bye bye have a nice day